Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the channel. It's me, Sean John. Uh, welcome to Minority Money Mindset. So I wanna tell y'all a crazy story today. In 2020, I bought a house and then I went to prison. Now, it wasn't like, it wasn't Rutgers Island. It, it wasn't anything like that. It wasn't Alcatraz. Uh, but, so I'll, I'll tell you how it went down. So, uh, found a house here in Dallas. Uh, the house was very, very affordable uh, back then. This was 2020, uh, before all the hot money started flooding the economy, and the house was like uh, the house was like $300,000. So it was very easy to get into. I had never owned a house before in my life. I had never really home shopped, right? Uh, but we found a house. Thought the house was really cool. Bought the house, and uh, so there we were in the house, right? And you know, we were just happy to be homeowners at that time. We didn't know much about mortgages and things like that. We knew we just, you know, had a family, wanted to have a home and thought it was a good idea. And then it, as soon as we got into the house, we got hit with this thing called a 30 year mortgage. Uh, now, if you look up the word mortgage, you'll see uh, that mortgage actually means a death pledge. So a 30 year death pledge, pledge until you die, pretty much. Uh, now, somebody asked, why, why do they call them mortgages? Well, you try to sell a death pledge and see how far you get. <laughs> and uh, so we ended up taking the death pledge and uh, for 30 years. And so we're sitting there, you know, not long after, maybe a year after, and I'm start, it's starting to hit me, I'm starting to realize, wait a minute. So we've got to pay this for 30 years. Uh, it's tied to a paycheck so if, if the paycheck stops, we could potentially lose this because they tell you that a house is an investment. I'm here to tell you it's a terrible investment, uh, especially when you pay for it with your paycheck. And that's how we ended up in prison. We were in 30 year prison, uh, 30 year mortgage prison because we thought we were homeowners, but we were not homeowners. We were loan owners. We owned a loan. We did not own a home. If anything happens to the paycheck over that period, you could potentially lose your house. Even if you pay your mortgage and you don't pay your property taxes, you could still lose your house. Uh, and so we found out very quickly that, hey, we've just been introduced to prison. This is prison. Uh, it's our home mortgage is tied to a paycheck. That means we've gotta keep these jobs. We gotta shut our mouths. Uh, we cannot talk back. We got to listen and do as we're told. And boy, all of a sudden your freedoms were gone. Uh, your willingness to, to get out and do something different uh, because you had to kind of clutch and hold on to whatever you could because you understood that that paycheck was the most important thing if you want to keep this house. And so right away we knew that we were in financial purgatory. Uh, right away we knew and understood that we were in financial prison we had a 30 year prison sentence where we had no control of our money, no control of our time. Why do I say that? Because the money flowed out to the this thing that you call an asset, I call a liability. Uh, how do you know the difference? Follow the cash flow. An asset puts money into your pocket, a liability takes money out of your pocket. Where each month, well each month when you pay the mortgage, does the money flow into you or does it flow away from you to the lender? Obviously it flows away from you. And so that makes it a liability. So there we were living in a liability, spending all this money every month that we were obligated to pay for the next 30 years. And we were in financial prison, a 30 year prison sentence, a 30 year prison sentence for my, my wife and I. And you want to talk about a horrible feeling because it's very depressing because you're like, wait a minute, I'll be how old when I finish this? Uh, and, and, you know, and so we, but all, all that to say, we ended up getting out of jail early. We got our get out of jail early card and we got to pass go and collect our money. It was more than 200. Uh, it was a bunch of money, but we were blessed because in 20, because we bought the house for 300,000 in, in 2020, in, 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 in April of 2020, right? And in 2022, October of 2022, we sold the house 
uh, for a little less, just a smidget less than seven hundred thousand dollars, and uh, which was a great deal for us. Uh, but what if and 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 that you know for a house to go up like that, that's once in a lifetime thing. It was the hot money from all the COVID money, all the government printing. That's the hot money that drove the market. Now you see the market starting to come down, and uh, but everything's still overpriced, right? I think so. Uh, you know, and so you're looking out there and we're looking out there and we're seeing that, wait a minute, this house is worth, you know, $700,000 and, you know, we have to pay this thing for 30 years. So what's a better deal? Do we want to take a, a over $400,000 payout or do we want to take or do we want to keep the house? And the, the answer was obvious. You take the money because you can you can buy another house anywhere. You don't even have to own the house. You can actually rent other people's homes, live in them like we do now. We live in a 2,000 square foot townhome in the same neighborhood. So we still get the same perks, same beautiful views. We just moved from the back to the front. We now live in the front of the neighborhood and we're still in the same place. So master plan neighborhood didn't give that up, made a lot of money. Yes, we left the house behind, but who cares? right that house is prison and it may feel like prison for you today i'm just telling you that if you're in a home and it, the only way you pay for it is with a paycheck that's purgatory that's prison so you've got to get creative and say all right let's pretend we lost our jobs now let's get creative how do we make money without needing a job or a paycheck and now you can work towards setting yourself free because if if i'm in a position where my home is appreciating tremendously I'm selling the house. I have, I have no loyalty to a house. I think that's our parents and our grandparents' ideas of being successful. And I'm not into the traditionalisms. Uh, I'm not into it because I, I found out it was a very bad deal for me. So I know our grandparents lived in homes, kept them for 20, 30 years. That's fine. But for us in this generation, that's just not something we need to be focused on. I'm not telling you don't buy a house. I'm not advising you. I'm just telling you that you should think about the way your money moves and think, think about how you're going to pay for it if anything happens to your paycheck. So again, I'm not against buying a home. I am against buying a home using a paycheck to pay for the home because that's prison. We did it that way, went straight to jail, did not pass go. Uh, fortunately for us, the market did something ridiculous and, 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 and equity wise and we made a bunch of money. We sold out as quickly as we could when that guy said, hey, uh, or, or when the realtor said, hey, are you willing to take 700? I was like, what? How, how, how soon do we need to be out? We can be out tonight, whatever, right? And uh, it worked out for us. I'm, I, I'm not telling you it's not the right thing for you. I'm just telling you be smart with your money because money, money gives you opportunities. If your house broke, you're struggling and you gotta pay that thing for another 30 years, you may miss out on a bunch of opportunities. So I'm just here to tell you, my opinion is go after the money, go after the opportunities, get the house and things like that later. A 30 year mortgage, who wants to be stuck paying for anything for 30 years? That's a bad obligation, uh, it's not fun. So be smart about the money, use money to make money, use money uh, when opportunity presents itself. Don't put yourself in financial purgatory. Uh, don't do it, it's not a good feeling. Don't use your paycheck to buy a house use cash flow. And so that that's the real game. That's the name of the game. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, drop a comment. Let me know if you think I'm right or wrong. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I love it either way. Peace guys. I got to go. Peace.